Welcome back to another segment of Terminating Low Voltage Cables. I'm Ron with Ideal Industries. Again, welcome to my channel and my shop. Hey, in this segment, which is actually part two of the Smart Home series of videos you're going to, you'll see on the channel, so this is part two, is uh, we're going to cover what we call grades of residential cabling. In other words, give you some suggestions as to how we would actually recommend you go about wiring a home today, whether you're doing remodel work or maybe you've got new construction going on. So what we call grades of cabling. And you know what, we want you to wire all rooms of the house today, where previous years we would wire up a couple, three rooms. Well, today, we even want you thinking about wiring bathrooms. <laughs> and we're not exactly sure what you want to wire it for, but I don't know, have you seen the uh, TVs that look like mirrors, and when they're turned off and when they're on, they're actually a TV, so who knows. Uh, so we want to talk about grades of cabling. So my recommendation to a guy if he asked me this would be, hey, we can do what we call grade one or grade two wiring is, is the suggestion. So grade one wiring, grade one, is the minimum they want you to do. Okay, so this is the minimum. And in grade one wiring, what we'll do is we will uh, put an outlet in the room. And uh, by the way, in some cases, we'll put multiple outlets in the room to eliminate the need for extension cords. Uh, we'll put at least a, a, a one coax cable at, at the outlet in the room, okay? A piece of coax, we refer to that as RG6, okay? Uh, you might also hear it called Series 6 as well. And um, that is, uh, uh, again, our coax at the outlet in the room. Now, again, that's going to probably give us our cable TV or our satellite uh, information in that room, more like that as a, a video feed. Um, and we'd also ask you to install at the outlet of the room a piece of Category uh, 5E cable at a minimum. You could install Category 6, and always the recommendation is if the walls are down, put in the best quality cable you can. And Category 6 is a better quality cable than 5E. And about, and about twice the price, so it's a little more pricey. Uh, this used to say Cat 3 recommend 5E, and a number of years ago they dropped the reference to Cat 3, so if you still got Cat 3 or you're pulling Cat 3, well, that, you know, that stuff was developed in the 80s, so what we thought was pretty fast in the 80s isn't really cutting it today. So Cat 5E has is, is kind of become our minimum. Now, the category cabling it would probably provide phone or data at the outlet in the room, and that's its purpose. Now, um, you know, the question is, can it be phone and data? You know, if you look at my wire color code configurations uh, video on data, uh, I'll explain that it actually can, but we never recommend that. We want separate wires for this. So this is the minimum they're going to ask you to do, okay? Now, if you're doing uh, what they're, they're, they really want you to do, and the preferred thing would be to do what they call grade two wiring, okay? Now, in grade two, we basically double up here. We put two coaxes at an outlet in the room and two category cables at the outlet in the room. So now the outlet looks a little more like that. And again, two coaxes and two cat 5Es. Now, why do we want all these wires? Well, the two category, one could be phone, one could be data. There's the reason for two of them. Uh, they'd be both phone or they could be both data. That's the reason. The two coaxes, and you got to figure, I'm just trying to sell you a little wire, and I am here a little bit. Again, the wire is the cheap part. It's what you hook to it that gets expensive. Uh, we have run across applications in the past where we've needed two coaxes, and one good application has been the satellite the last handful of years. A lot of those systems, as it had a TV, a TiVo or a DVR associated with it, it needed a second uh, coax at the outlet in the room. So, uh, and then there's also times when we might have video coming out of this room that we want to share with other parts of the home and other TVs. We could have a camera, a nanny cam, uh, uh, some sort of device uh, wanting to spit out video. You sure could. And so that's the reason. So grade two wiring is what we want you to wire to. Okay. Now, we don't talk about audio cabling here at all, speaker wiring, but that's also something to think about separate as well. Uh, but the standard actually does recommend as an option fiber optics. And they would tell you to pull um, you know, multi-mode fiber in the house. And again, this is an option. And, you know, the question always becomes, will, when will I actually need fiber optics in my home? And, you know, the question is, I, you know, the answer to that is, I don't know. Uh, but I can tell you, it's interesting, fiber's running through your neighbors already, neighborhoods already. <clears throat> Some service providers are bringing fiber to the home today, and a lot of times that's your telephone guy. 
because it, you know all, all these wires again that come to your homes are pipelines and the guy with a bigger pipeline can send more information and get you to buy the high-speed internet the digital phone and all that video too and that's of course the game they want uh, and fiber optics gives us this huge pipeline and in those cases they're converting back to copper on the side of a home but eventually it might be in the home you know and if I plan on building a house and being there for the next 40 years should I at least think about it yeah probably should so uh, but this is the recommendation to people if they come up to me and say hey Ron what are you recommended to folks today and again as I said we could do something with audio here too but that is not actually covered as a minimal thing that they are expecting out of you. Again, I think the industry is trying to get you to just make sure you're, you're putting you know, phone, uh, data, and video in all rooms of the house so the customer can uh, uh, do a lot of the basics inside of a building. Okay? Now, another big difference between how we used to wire things and how we wire things today is that uh, we will home run all our cabling. And what I mean by that, in the old days, we would, especially like phone wire, we would come from a point on the side of a home for phone, and in the old days, we would run out to an outlet in a room someplace and basically just splice the cable, feed the next outlet, you know, in the room or in the next room and uh, feed the next out throughout the house. And uh, we were calling, we call that daisy chaining of cabling. And the standards do not recommend this at all today, and uh, for several reasons. One is anytime you splice wire, you're messing with its ability to do what it's got to do. Computers can't be wired this way. There's another reason that's a problem. And then if you're troubleshooting things like this, this is a pain to troubleshoot because you have no idea where the darn splices are. Where if I hold run my cable, which is what we want you to do, uh, I know where both ends of this cable is, so it gets a lot easier to troubleshoot, and I can use the outlet in the room for phone or data, depending on what I might give it back here in, a, in my low voltage panel, so to speak, whether it's phone, again, or data. So uh, that's what I want you to do with home run wiring. And during the install, uh, if you cut that wire, or for some reason you're 20 feet short, uh, we're not allowed to splice that cable, folks. And uh, the reason is that, well, Again, any time you deform a shape of wire, you're messing with its ability to do what it's got to do. And it's interesting, when I walk new home construction and, uh, and I look at the Category 5E cable I see installed in some homes, I'm going to say somewhere around 30% of these cables I look at will not actually support 5E speeds, which is 1,000 megabits per second. It may work at some speed, but not at that speed. And because um, guys are untwisting cables, they're doing things like you know splicing and things like that, they just don't realize they're ruining the wire in the process of putting it in. So good quality wire, uh, and uh, make sure you install it properly. And we'll get into all this with you through the course of all these uh, videos in this Smart Home channel. So uh, there you go. Uh, grade 1, Grade 2 wiring, again, are the recommendations. And again, we want to home run all our cabling. And in the, in the third segment here, I'm going to actually show you how to go about laying out the house uh, properly, where to install the panels, and have you take a first look at one of these panels. So uh, thanks for coming to another segment of Terminating Low Voltage Cables. I'm Ron with Ideal Industries, and again, we'll see you next time.